Francis, when you, I can only imagine what was going through your head when you signed on to this. I'm sure you had expectations of what this process would be like. How would you say making this film was most different from what you expected it would be like? Uh, that's, that, that, God, they, they're sort of never like you expect them to be. I think anything going in, you have something in your head. Uh, uh, I think one of the best things, and this is just, you know, sort of the group making the movie, I mean, this is quite honestly one of the best groups of people that I've ever made a movie with. I mean, you know, not just their talent, but also just to be around every day. Uh, so that was, that was unexpected and really a blessing. Um, you know, and then I think that I'm just, you know, I'm very pleased with the emotional scale of the movie, the way that the world has sort of come together and the way the world looks and visiting different districts and seeing more of the capital. Um, and I think the performances are fantastic, so, you know, it's more than I could have dreamed of. Lenny, I want to ask you a question about your character, because I feel like one thing that you did so well, in, in, that you did so well in the first film, but also in movies like Precious, you're kind of bringing this incredibly calming presence to often insane worlds. Mm -hmm. uh, is that something that you like about playing this guy? Yeah, I mean, Sina is, uh... He's a real cool cat, you know, and he's, uh, he, he definitely has, uh, you know, a lot of interest in catness, and, um, no, but as, as a friend, you know, and as a, uh, you know, as somebody who really believes in her and cares for her, and uh, this movie was, uh, this movie was great. You'll see how they evolve until uh, his very last scene. The, uh, the, one of the Facebook fans wanted to know from Jenna and Jeffrey what it was like to join this already tight group. Um, <laughs> was it intimidating? It sounds like it. <laughs> I mean, sure. This is intimidating. <laughs> yeah, if this was what it was like on set every day, it would be really intense. <laughs> well, I, you know, I think what's exciting about... Uh, well, the reason that you make movies is for people to see them. You want people to come. And the work that was done previously at the books as well established obviously a huge, voracious appetite for uh, these movies and also expectations. So, yeah, that can be a, you know, you want to make sure that you match those expectations and surpass those expectations. And so there was such a high level that, you know, we were stepping into. It could be viewed as intimidating, but I think, in fact, it made it easier because there had been such work done, you know, the groundwork had been laid and we just had to step in and step up. It was also just so surprising. It's like, you know, opening a candy bar and getting a golden ticket. And you're just like, really? Like, me and all of the kids in the universe? Um, because, but also what was so much fun is that we were coming in as sort of the young blood, but there was kind of a lot of us. We actually kind of outnumbered them. <laughs> yeah, sorry. So, I mean, particularly with Francis on our side is sort of this, like, new energy. And um, because Catching Fire is kind of, you know, it, it's where the last film stepped up, left off, everything is flipped on its head. I mean, all the rules are off. So it kind of also felt nice for all of us to be in something new and different together. Um, but, you know, I mean, it was obviously, you know, we had to be let in on a few inside jokes. That was about, that was, you know, that was the big initiation, I felt. <laughs> I was like, what's that you're doing? <laughs> Nobody pranked you? Every day of my life. <laughs> Who's the worst? Willow, of course. Of course. <laughs> Willow, who would you say on this table you look up to the most? Oh, my. Um. Kind of question. Yeah, but come on. <laughs> um. <laughs> <laughs> what are you gonna do? Oh, you're gonna <laughs> stink eye all over the place. Um, stay together for after this. <laughs> Probably Jen. Yeah, Jen. I mean, come on. <laughs> yeah. Good answer. Um, I want to know, Jennifer. You know, I'm obsessed with the Oscars, and we did a lot of stuff with Silver Linings Playbook together. And You all didn't know you're not only the winner of the Hunger Games, but you're the winner of Best Actress at the Academy Awards. Um, hey, I'm never heard it that way. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds great. Yeah, I might have actually really won the Hunger Games. <laughs> 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 really at any point, did the victory tour feel like the Oscar season? 
Or did the Oscar season feel like the Hunger Games victory tour? I, I see some similarities. Yeah, I mean, the stakes weren't as high. <laughs> but yeah, that was something that I actually, in the first book, I was going through my first kind of round of Winter's Bone, a movie that I did when I was 18 and just come out. We should have come here. Yeah. Uh, but, uh, but yeah, in, in, it was kind of this new world of like wearing these dresses that I, I, I don't look like myself, I don't feel like myself, and I have to like say, they, well, I never really got a hold of that, so I won't even bring that up. But, and listening to like hair and makeup people and like what they talk, like this new kind of world and feeling like really uh, not a part of it. Um, and I recognized that usually in the first book, I was like, I don't know how that feels. And then in the second book, it's kind of going back to it, and now you're familiar with it, and now it's in a weird way, almost some part, like a, 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 it's become a part of you, even though it's so unlike you. It's something you can go back to, and things like that are, are very familiar. Um, and at times, you aren't afraid of your life. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> Now there were a lot of Twitter and Facebook questions that came in. My favorite is from someone named No Name Naley. And I want to ask Josh this question. Her question is, how hot are the kissing scenes going to be? So hot. Super hot. So hot. Oh my god, we should have brought that clip with the snot. We should have brought it with the snot. We had one take. Uh, uh, that video was more than one take. <laughs> Yeah, there was a couple of takes, yeah. Can we talk about that, Mr. Mr. Lawrence? <laughs> yeah? So we, we did this, uh, this scene, this when I... When I, when we, I, we can't, I don't think we can say that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'll let you take the lead then. No, 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 it was a lot of slobber. A lot of because slobber. It was, a lot of, it, was, it was a resuscitation, we can say resuscitation. Yeah, when there was resuscitation, there was a kiss, and then there was slobber, and well, the slobber string got and connected crying. to our faces. Yeah, and there's a huge string of snot. I mean, so it will be very hot if you're in the snot. I'll put it on YouTube or something because you gotta see it. But there's all this snot coming out of my nose, and when I go to kiss Josh, it mouth. connects to his mouth. And then I lift that up, and there's a huge string of it, and then I go, <laughs> and like I wobble it. Awesome. Yeah, it's gonna be very hot. Yeah, the kissing scenes are really hot. <laughs> can we can we put this on the DVD extras? Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. 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 deleted yeah. scenes for sure. Yeah. There were also a lot of questions, and I just want to uh, explain that one of the cast members, Sam Claflin, uh, is spinning. He's unfortunately filming overseas, which is the reason he's, he's not here. But I read an interview he did with Entertainment Weekly where he said he's worried that audiences aren't going to perceive him as enough of a sex god. So I want to know from the panel, should he be worried, or is he okay? He is a sex god. He's good. I think he's fine. Yeah, he's good. He's good. Don't worry, Sam. <laughs> I, I love that Josh and Francis are the ones who answer that question. <laughs> <laughs> I think he just needs glasses and then he'll be uh, yeah. fully there. There you go. All right, here's one more uh, Facebook question before I open it up to you all here in the crowd. This is from, I love this Twitter handle, Everlark Hart. It's kind of like a man, it's like Benifer, but Everlark. Uh, Jennifer, from all the wardrobe that you had in this film, what was your favorite costume? Um, well, my wedding dress was my favorite to look at. Um, wearing it was one of the hardest things I've ever done in my life. Um, and you can tell, I think, in, in the movie. Um, but Why? The, well, was it tight or was it like... It was, it, was, uh, it was huge. It was five feet in circumference. Um, and I'm not good at walking in China. <laughs> You don't say walking period. No. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. It, it was. It was just giant, and it was a little bit. It was. It wasn't. It wasn't as uncomfortable as you would think. But I, I probably the wedding dress. Yeah. It, it was just gorgeous. It was like an, an honor to wear it in a weird way, and I loved it because it was understated. <laughs> That's sarcasm. Yeah, it was. <laughs> all right. I want to know what you all want to know. Thank you. <laughs> Problem. You're a very secure woman. <laughs> Hello, how are you? Good. <laughs> I'm really nervous. Don't Sorry. Um, I just really wanted to thank you all for the Hunger Games in general because it's like the best book ever and I'm just so excited. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't know, and it's just like. <laughs> I'm sorry, just thank you very much for 
everything. And <coughs> my question is for Jennifer, and I'm here, and I'm just gonna take the chance. And I That was um, another stuff. And what was like to find out that you were actually on the Hunger Games movie? I love you. Thank you. I love you too. It was really exciting, and it was, but it was overwhelming and, and scary as well because it was one of my favorite characters I think that I've ever that I've ever read and. and such an exciting story that I wanted to be a part of so badly, and I and I just loved everything that the Hunger Games were about. And I loved the books, and um, but it was also really scary because it's huge. Um, and you know, I had a kind of a different life plan in mind that was a little bit smaller. Um, so it was it was a mix of really of excitement and and a little and fear. But now it's just exciting. Thank you for the question. Hello. Hi. Um, I loved you in the Silver Lightings playbook, Jennifer. Thank you. You were allowed to see that. How old are you? Thirteen. Wow. That's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> um, and this question is for you. I know the first installment looked very physically demanding. What sort of training did you do to prepare for this movie and what was the hardest stunt? There, well, I had a lot of archery training. Um, and, and, yes. And I had to have just running training because I'm not a very good runner. I run weird. So I lost just <laughs> running training. Uh, do you remember when I hit myself in the face with my bow so hard that I flew myself back? <laughs> um, sorry, that was just popping in my mind. But um, running, and, and then there's something called free running, which is kind of yeah, parkour, um, which obviously I didn't become like an expert at, but they helped me just be able to, you know, kind of be able to jump over things and do different kind of, you know, like front rolls and things like that. Um, the hardest stunt is probably still just basic running. <laughs> and there's so much running in the movie. And like if there's a scene where I'm like running up a mountain, I'm like running up that mountain all day. Um, and trying not to hit myself in the face with my bow are my two greatest challenges. <laughs> 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 